Oh, he's got an idle animation. Oh, he does. Hey, cool. He's real impatient. Yeah. Arr. Like real grumpy about Sonic it. will tap his foot, but he won't like get that mad about it that fast. Come on. Now what does everyone else do? Now I'm curious. Hey, oh, he won't even like change until I move. Okay. That's weird. You idle for us. Do you get impatient? I actually don't know how long we had to, to leave the character before. I don't think it was that long. No, probably not. Hang on. Not. Welcome to the playframe, everyone. Just sit tight. We're looking at a thing. Yeah, this is this is animation talk. Come on, get bored. There oh, you go. There you go. Comfy. And now you, the camera. Hey, hey. Did I say you could turn? I do appreciate that they had like an like a, a bespoke intro and outro animation to him getting up and getting onto the ground. Yeah. Me as well. I, like the character animation in this is really is quite solid for this era. Yeah. A lot of personality. All three characters feel quite different. Very cool. Good yeah. job, Mystical Ninja Starring Diamond. Hair flip. Good little hair flip. I love it. But yeah, there's like there there is a sequel for this, I think, on the N64 also also, or maybe a GameCube, I'm not sure. That was released in the West. And then I feel like at one point I remember looking up and seeing like there's a lot of Goemon games over the years. Yeah. Barely any of them have made it here. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> have we done the welcome back? Well, welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, yeah, I mean, a game this steep didn't look like if you're if you're a Nintendo exec and you're thinking like, well, which games should we bring over? Should we bring this one or this other one that's steep in Japanese cultural heritage and requires knowledge of of centuries of <laughs> Japanese theater traditions to appreciate. Yeah, yeah. Which one would be good for the children? It's uh, a fair point. Okay, so now we are entering the Ghost Toys Castle. Now, Dan, what would you expect to be in the Ghost Toys Castle? I would expect ghosts, one, toys, also, I can't hit the ghosts, which the more I think about it, the more sense it makes. Yep. Dumb. Are these the the uh, Dharma? What are the... Uh, Daruma? Yeah, I think they're the ones that, like, it's like the left one I need to hit with fire money. Yes. Uh, you might you might expect to see some ghosts and some toys, and you would be right. Is there more to it? Uh, oh. Absolutely not. <laughs> There's something about that that's refreshing. Yeah. Does what it says on the tour. Get out of here. Let me try getting both of them up. Yeah. So cool. Door I love open. it. Ooh. Unless you turn the power on the crane game will not operate. Yep. We're playing we're playing uh crane games. This is a good hot spring. What are they called? Are they called? I feel like they're I think they're just called crane games. I, I guess, think. Yeah. UFO catchers, I think. What am I looking at here? A door. door. Whoa. Welcome to the hot springs. Less good hot springs than I thought. Yeah. Much much more stressful. Guys, this is how the hot spring sausage gets made. Yeah, <laughs> like you gotta, you gotta break a few hot springs <laughs> to make a hot spring out of it. Whoa! Hello, friends, friend or foe? Get out of here! No, you're not the right person for the job. Yeah. Dude, these jams though. Yeah. Come on. The physics of like, yeah, if you if you dunk yourself in the water. I'm too slow. That money's gone forever. Yep. Goodbye. That's why you see money in the bottom of all these fountains. It's like after five seconds have passed, there's no getting that money. Yeah, it's it's it ceased to exist. It's it's the water's money now. I know it looks like it's there. <laughs> but you can't get it. Yeah, it's it's part of the background now. Ah. It's it's fully rendered. I can't actually <laughs> I need this. Yes. I can't remember. I don't know if the cats refill your life. It would be cool if they did. That'd be super cool right now if they did. Yeah. At least we have some very good uh, rice ball to work with. Yeah, fairy rice ball. Huh. Yes! Let's go. Okay. Nope. <laughs> does not does not seem to be doing much in the healing department. That's okay. We'll find something. Do, 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 do. 
I feel like I've probably asked you something comparable to this at some point, but like what what's got you, like what uh, steered you toward becoming a game designer? That's an interesting question. Uh, because like when we, me and my brother were growing up, he was actually the one who was making card games. Oh, and yeah? I often tell people, it's like a lot of people, I think, was it, I think Anna Anthropy in her book said it best. It was like, there's a lot of people who want to have made a game. There aren't that many people who want to make games. That is like, true. Like you have to enjoy the process. You can't just say like, oh, it would be cool if this video game existed and then you go make that. Yep. It is, uh, it doesn't work out very often if that is your goal. Um, so for the longest time, it was my brother who was like, oh yeah, I printed out these these cards based on this video game that we made on these like little index card or business card things is what he would use. Um, so I would expect it to be him, but the, the real answer is I was like, I was 22 years old. I had an engineering degree and the every internship that I had ever had, that's needed. Uh, people really didn't like their jobs, which is not true of all engineers, but it kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. And I was like, well, I'm 22. Uh, I, if I'm ever going to do something stupid, now would be a great time. So I, um, so w I think I must have told this story, but yeah, Wizards of the Coast didn't know how to hire game designers. So they ran a reality show <laughs> um, called The Great Designer Search because Mark Rosewater is an ex uh, screenwriter for the sitcom Roseanne. Wait, really? Yeah. Whoa. Um, so he... What is that? What are you? Oh. Oh. Interactable, I guess. I still don't know, but yeah. I, it's mine now. Um, so he, you know, his answer was make it a show, I guess. Um, and the second time they ran that was lined up pretty well with me being a graduate and having like a pseudo internship after graduation. Like it wasn't a real job. It was mostly just like coding. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't like, it wasn't nothing. So uh, I had time to like kind of focus on it. And I sunk a lot of time into that contest. I'm, I didn't make it to the final eight or anything, but I did well enough that it was like notable. Like, oh, okay, it's, you know, I, I'm not complete garbage at this. And, and, and Rosewater's articles, which I had been reading for years, are really good primers on like game design. I think that's like an elevator thing. Yeah, yeah it's, you should grab this probably, probably first. Probably, yeah, that makes right. sense. Right. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, it's they, like, oh, yeah, here's here's a thing that you can do and, you know, somebody's job, like, people work at making games, and I figured it would be a good, like, if I was ever going to go across the country to try and, oh, nice, nice money flower. Yay. Where were these in Elden Ring? <laughs> um, yeah, all the ones I found really were very hurtful. Yeah. Um... So because I didn't make it in the contest, there wasn't a job for me. So I went and I did customer service there for a while when I, my goal was, oh, I'll give it a shot and we'll see how it goes. Okay. Um, and, you know, I went over to Rosewater. I was like, hey, I want to be a game designer. And he was like, cool. Here's a bunch of stuff that you can work on. They have like mailing lists of people to design, help design cards when they need like last minute adjustments. Okay. Um, and... I just went through that and I enjoyed the process of it and making things. So I, I guess the answer is I lucked out. Um, yeah, like kind of true for all of us, but not all of us luck out in a way that also involves at some point in the, along the way, a game show. Yeah. It's, it's wild. Uh, I did not know that part of the story. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty great. Um, I mean like game design, because <clears throat> I think even to this day, game design, like, you have to like walk really. Slow. You really gotta. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's where it's a full heart container though. So. Ooh, I need it. Um. So yeah, it is very much like a. Oh. Yeah. You're, Not a great start. Really need the ca the the camera to cooperate. Um. Because yeah, it's like, where do all, like all the game designers that are like fairly experienced now that are like 10 plus years into their career are, there were no game design schools 10 years ago. Yeah, or at yeah. least the ones that existed were either like 
Ugh. not great at it or like there just weren't enough for it to be common. Yeah. So like all the people who worked at Wizards who are game designers there came from very different backgrounds. There was, you know, Rosewater was a screenwriter. Um, I worked with like somebody who owned a bookstore and somebody who was an actor and somebody else who like a bunch of people who were like did economy based stuff, but like mostly played a lot of games, but had like the the background to talk it talk about things in a logical manner yeah um so it was very much a a uh, it's a it's a very much a mixed bag and having a lot of those different backgrounds was kind of cool because you got lots of different people who came who had lots of different opinions on things it makes a lot of sense actually like having all the just bringing different experiences to it would inevitably result in a lot of just different and interesting ideas yeah I think I'm gonna give up on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, cat. Don't need it. Um, Do need a key. Well, I'll turn it around on you. Why did you decide to become an animator? Uh, I started out like when I went to That's where we college, like, oh, so the other one. When I went to college, kind of like my first guess was like, okay, well, I'm the kid in our admittedly very small class who was like drawing and doodling all the time. So let's let's start out trying art major. Maybe that's Maybe that's something. Uh, and so, and I was there for a year. What? Bye. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. I think. Yes. <laughs> so, I decided. All right. Well, art school first, and that was fine for a little while. I enjoyed some of the classes, but I did ultimately kind of feel like, as I looked around, it's like, there's nothing. One, there's a lot of other people here who are like clearly way more meant for this than I am. I think. And also, I don't think there's anything here I really want to like do as a job. Like it's all fun to do as a craft or an activity or skill, or whatever. But I don't know, don't know if I want this to be a career. Uh, so nice. Mm -hmm. Didn't know you could mantle. But uh, there was some sort of little uh, event thing going on where the uh, school was just sort of like there was sort of like a mandatory thing you had to go to where they were talking about various like uh, other little departments or tracks or careers or things you could do that were kind of like associated and and when in that thing I. Uh, Hey! <laughs> I hit the switch. You hit the switch. <laughs> <laughs> and got a key. And... Hang on. And cat. Yeah. You can jump over. I think you might be right. Whoop. Awesome. And in that little uh, in that little session thing there, they mentioned that like there was a small sort of like little CG uh, on a computer graphics animation department thing. Step on the button of the crane to move the crane. Okay. I'm getting a camera. Mm -hmm. Interesting. You didn't expect that? I didn't. I didn't. Ha! Maybe a little too far away. Yeah. Well, it's close. I don't know how generous it is. Nah. Not enough. Not enough. Next time. So yeah, like they mentioned that department in there, but then they said that this used to be a thing shared by the art uh, school and the drama school, like here oh. at the university. And but now it's just a thing that the uh, that the drama group does. And I thought, all right, well that sounds interesting. And I hadn't even like considered that as an option. Mm -hmm. Didn't know you could like study to do that. So uh, yeah, I went over to change to being a drama major. I should have gone further. Changed to being a drama major. Uh, checked it out. It was a really tiny department. So like. I did not graduate from there nearly like, com like at a competitive enough level to actually like get hired, but I did find that like, okay, well, this is interesting. I kind of like this. So, and uh, <clears throat> decided like in within that department, I think I sort of felt, felt out like, okay, well, like the animation part of this whole CG thing is pretty interesting. I like it well enough. And it seems like in here of all the other people who are like studying CG stuff, it seems like the fewest, there's not a lot of people who are like, specializing in the animation side of things. A lot of people are doing modeling and texturing and all that other stuff. I'll do the animation thing. Why not? Mm -hmm. I bet that's what the industry is also like. <laughs> and it's not, but <laughs> it's yeah. like it It worked well enough. And the more I studied of animation and got into like, I enjoyed the drama classes there as well. So like uh, getting into the more like acting and performance side of thing was quite fun. And it, it ended up working out quite well. I just sort of uh, didn't go to school with a plan to end up there, but uh, I guess I have a camera now? Yes, you do have a camera now. 
By continuously holding down the B button and then letting go, a light will shine, allowing you to see items you would not normally see or hidden items, even ghosts will appear. Ooh. Nifty. Okay. Well, all right. Let's try that out. Um, got to do it for longer. Yeah, it's wind-up camera. Wind-up camera. Yeah, what did you oh. think? This was some kind of futuristic <laughs> thing? <laughs> no, he actually pulls it out of a little pocket. Is also pretty good. It's like, ooh. There you go. <laughs> it's very cute. It's very cute. All right. What to do with this? The Let's go way. find out. The other way. <clears throat> it's okay. I will shepherd you around. I appreciate it. A little too distracted by just how, like, how catchy and snappable this little... This tune's very good. It's very good. So how, what was your transition like from graduating to getting a job at a Pixar? Uh, so like I first did sort of like an initial wave of like sending out demo reels and stuff like that. But my work was not. It was it was not good uh, at that time. And it's definitely not enough to be employable. So I ended up decided like, all right, I'm going to need to go back to school, I think, to like study and learn more. So I ended up going to... Uh, 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 Savannah College of Art and Design, which actually did have an animation program in it. It was more known as an art school. And uh, was there for about a year, maybe? And it was a very good experience, but at that point I was sort of at like the, more at like the master's level, which is not what I needed basics and fundamentals like that. The track that I was on was really good if you were wanting to get into like directing and filmmaking more, mm -hmm. but like they were kind of expecting you to by that point to have the basics down, but my just vanilla animation skills were not there yet. That is where I created extra credits, though, so, like, I don't at all regret having spent the time there uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> paying too much money to go to a school. Yeah, it's 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 a good it's a good outcome. Yeah, like, I ended up doing YouTube things, so I'm doing this now because I went to SCAD, so that that aspect worked out. Um, it's this other door, I think. Yeah. Uh, but then while I was there, feeling like, all right, I don't feel like I'm learning enough of the animation basics here. I think I even took, like, a more beginner level animation class and learned a lot of what I really needed there and decided like, I need to, let me keep looking around and found a animation mentor, a, a uh, online uh, sort of trade school basically uh, run by some Pixar and ILM folks and decided I'm gonna switch to doing that instead. And it was a good choice because of that like made an enormous difference in terms of like my uh, competence <laughs> yeah. at animation. And then, uh, yeah, from there, did a job hunt again and uh, lucked, just really lucked into getting uh, hired for a new little satellite studio in uh, Vancouver that Pixar was starting. Very and cool. I worked, yeah, and got to work there for the three years it existed, and it was a real special experience. That is awesome. Yeah. It's like... <clears throat> it shouldn't have happened, but boy, am I grateful. Like, it was <laughs> a... I learned a whole ton, got a whole lot better, and, like, got to experience a thing that just didn't exist for very long. Yeah. Uh -huh. I feel like game game design is very similar in the sense that like it's really hard to get a lot out of school that you aren't putting in. That like, makes a lot of sense, yeah. Like a lot of other degrees like engineering was this way of it was like, okay, well <clears throat> nobody really expects you to be good when you get out of college anyway, because the stuff is so specialized, right? Like I did solar cells. Oh wow. Um and like there's no way on earth that they can teach you enough in in the <laughs> like by the time you exit school every all of your knowledge is outdated so it's it's very much a like a like okay well we just need essentially we need you to prove that you're capable of being taught yeah and, and then and learning and continuing to absorb the knowledge you need to solve problems yeah um it's not wildly off of design not the more i think about it yeah well well the thing about design is that like it it's that's only part of it um, yeah, poison water. Poison Surprise. water, by the way. <laughs> um, is that for like design? It, it, it's it's one thing to like learn how to think, um, but it is also just like it's such a competitive field that you really do need some some kind of like outcome. You need you, there's no real equivalent for a designer, really. That's where we came from. You are right. Um, but it is kind of like, yeah, the re your resume does actually need to be pretty stacked coming out of school uh, yeah. in order to justify, like, in order to get, like, 
even an entry level position in game design. So it's like we're look you're looking for people that are like familiar with the space that you're working in that have done like really outstanding student projects. Like just having the degree is an engineering degree is usually enough to get you a entry level job. It's usually not the only thing you need to get a design job. Yeah, that makes sense. You really need to understand what you're trying to accomplish and Whoa! Ow. Mario! Mario! This is a very Luigi's Mansion kind of level. <laughs> it is kind of, actually. Yeah, these little fellas. Hey, little fellas, do you have batteries? Could I have them? Yeah, we have another little fella who needs them. Really needs a battery soul. Yeah. Guys, please stop. I do like how his eyes get very anime when he gets hit. <laughs> I love how much health these guys are dropping, though. Yeah, it is It is very handy. That means a lot. We appreciate it. I don't know what genre of music this is, but I love it. Yeah, it is like... Old school... Japanese instruments, maybe? It's fused with, like... This one's a little bit more funky. Yeah, this is pretty funky. I'm also not a music guy, so I don't know why I'm trying to like. <laughs> you tried though, and that like, that's something. Oh, oh, you got this. Easy, easy game. Easy game. I do like those two little guards back there. They're doing their best. <laughs> <laughs> this is basically what hot springs in Japan are like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. 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 Hundred cool. percent. Gonna have to go someday. Would highly recommend. Key. You should come with us. We'll take you around. That'd be fun. Yeah, having somebody who actually like knows their way around seems like the way to do it. Yeah. the The trick is we'll, we'll talk a big game, but for the most part, <laughs> like everything's in English as long as you don't leave the big cities. So that makes sense. Like, you may not know your way around necessarily, but that you have be experience being lost there before is almost as good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like nowadays it. So, like, Google Translate has a thing where you can just, like, put your camera over a foreign language and it will just translate it for you in AR. It's really bonkers. It's bonkers. Um, and between that and, like, all of the, the public transport are in... Uh, oh, man. Is in, ...is in English. And then once you... If you get... There's, like, a little... You can get, like, a little Wi-Fi uh, box. It's just, like, a little portable Wi-Fi maker thing. Wow. Um... And you, just, you get that and then like Google Maps works and uh, you know, you have the entire internet at your disposal. Jeez. It's, it's very easy. Um, yeah, I don't know what's changed in the last couple of years. because obviously we haven't gone since. Sure. Um, but yeah, we can't wait. We're planning on going next year. So. Oh, awesome. What are y'all hiding in here? Hmm. What secrets do your ghostly rooms hold? Do I actually need to aim these at ghosts, or can I just... I don't know. Let's find out. I'm going to aim kind of at a wall. Ghosts, does that count? It does. Great. Thank you for your cooperation in this matter, ghosts. Now you can die. Oh. Hello. Hello, sir. Do you need to be on fire? I bet yes. There might also be one more enemy in here. You do not need to be on fire. My bad. My apologies for the misunderstanding. <laughs> I feel terrible. Yes. Not uh, not terrible enough to not steal your key. <laughs> thank you. But still a little bad. <laughs> Let's see. Where's a door with a lock on it? What is the mo where where is the most like furthest away you've traveled to. I think Brazil. Oh. Yeah. It was like a thing around high schoolish. Like, as I've mentioned before on the channel, like I had a pretty religious upbringing, and so we were doing sort of like a, it's basically a mission trip thing, effectively. Mm -hmm. uh, but you did get to see like Fortaleza, Brazil, as a result, which is really cool. But that like. That is really like the only the time I've been on another continent. Yeah, Brazil is very interesting. Yeah. 
I like to get him to see it. When a picture of the floor is taken, there will be a... It says something important. Yeah, just take a picture. It shows the... Shows the floor. Oh, I see. As well as the holes in the floor, I guess? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, camera, work with me. Okay. Beautiful. The gold key. Yay. I just did... I did, um... My only experience to, like, Brazilian anything was I did capoeira in college. So it was like... I wanted to do that. Capoeira was cool. It is rad. Also, <laughs> my knee is bad. But... <laughs> As a result, or...? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that one we came from. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna go across the hall, I think. Um, but, yeah, no, it, it was a... Uh, it, yeah, there we go. Um... Well, this is ominous. Um, um, but yeah, there is like one. So it's a for those guys who don't know. It's a Brazilian martial art that that is like dance based. Uh, the story is that like people were not allowed to practice martial arts while under some kind of foreign rule, and so they disguised it as a dance, but it was actually martial arts practice. So it's all done in a circle, and people are playing music the whole time. It's actually very, very cool. Very acrobatic, very fun. Yeah, it looks amazing. You probably have seen it around, and like, if, even if you don't know it by name. Yeah. Okay, maybe Various games have... <laughs> like, various fighting games have got, like, one character who does it. Yep. Oops, hold so on. Right. Food's here. Be right back. Bye! <laughs> Okay, we're back. Sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> yep. Now I don't get to eat my food until we finish this episode. That's true. That just provides us incentive. Yeah, Carrie Carrie was very explicit about this. <laughs> <laughs> she made it abundantly clear. Yep. Uh, <laughs> only yeah. people who finish the level can eat. Yep. <laughs> okay. I think we actually do need to go back in the big room. I think there are... Okay. We can do it. We're making we're making great time. Yeah. I do want to hear about your capoeira experience though oh it was what i it was it looked cool so i did it for a while i guess that was <laughs> that's the full story that's why i wanted to do it at the time yeah. so yeah i mean it, it's i had done martial arts for a long time and just off and on various different kinds so um i was i was like kind of looking for something to do because I, I i wasn't exercising that regularly other than walking walking is, ah. is great exercise then I just walked everywhere in college, but um, I didn't have any like aerobic anything. So yeah, what was your of all the martial arts you've done? What was your uh, favorite one? Favorite one? Capoeira is the one I have the most fond memories of. I did the most of Tang Sudo, which I think is like a Ooh. Korean offshoot of a style of karate. Oh okay. Um, that one I actually did for several years. Um, yeah, I did Taekwondo for a long time. That's that's the one that's ah. like there's a ramp you oh. can just go. Uh, maybe I'll just yeah. It's good idea. Um. Whoa. Ha ha. Success. I like that you can Mega Man through the door like that. Yeah yeah yeah. Ow. Um. But yeah, it was mostly like they had a class that was bringing in a teacher a couple times a week and. It was right on campus, so it was easy to get to, and it was it was nice. It was a, it was a good thing to do. It was it was fun. It was certainly the most useful one that I've ever had because you don't really break out the the taekwondo or anything at parties. That's true. Um, <laughs> it's not the most fun to watch. Yeah. Of martial arts. Yeah. That th this capoeira at that point is, uh, for the most part, a like. I would not. I would not classify it as a martial art that is like the kind you would use. You would pick if you were in a, a deadly scenario. But it certainly is the most fun to watch. Yeah, I feel like it's not the one that they that you're ever going to find like a nation special forces are trained in. Yeah, to, but they should. I yeah. still it certainly could. it certainly would be a lot like a better world if all of the armies could put aside their differences and choose a cool martial art to master. Yeah, and then we could do tournaments. Yeah. Like in the the Bruce Lee movie, <laughs> exactly. See, but this is the timeline we're in here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I assume we have to do this in order. Yes. The arrow says yes. The arrow says yellow. Haha! -ha. I helped. That's right. Oh, get out of here! Again, more more very satisfying sound. It's a good sound. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. No. So I, w I really liked the idea of pool as a kid. Yes. And of like very young, like three or four years old. So I called it knock balls, which <laughs> that's better. Because, yeah, you knock the balls and I was a genius child. Um, if it like if pool didn't exist and some clever game designer came up with it and made a video game about it, that is what they'd call it. That is true. No one would call this pool. Yeah, I don't I don't understand. How is the player supposed to know what to do? Um, but I do. I definitely have pictures of me as a three year old, like holding a pool cue, which is way too long for me. And my dad is like <laughs> holding me up on the pool table as I'm trying Aww. to like one handed, like knock the white ball into the the color balls. Oh, they're so fast. Stay. Please hold still. Come on. I've been playing video. How? When was your first video game? First video game was I don't know like at what age. I think I was some neighbor's house that had uh, Super Mario Brothers. There, I think we had some, some uh, like a family friend sort of like uh, like lived in the basement of our house for a short little time, and I think he might have had what I'm guessing was a Commodore 64 with like mm -hmm. a whole bunch of games. I don't really know. I was too young to know. It was all like uh, everything was colored green. <laughs> I I I learned how to read playing video games. Really? I played yeah. I I was playing Nintendo at 3. NES, I got the I was playing it. Oh wow. Uh I can I, I I have to ask my parents why they decided to get me one cuz I can't imagine how I would have known to ask for it. Um but yeah, Mario, Mega Man, very hard video game for a three-year-old by the way. Yeah, it is. Um, it's a hard video game now. Yeah, it's a hard video game for current me. Is this like original Mega Man as well? Uh, You know, I probably still have it somewhere because I, I just recently got all, all my old game, hence why we're playing this. I'm um, thrilled that you did and that you brought it here yeah. to share. Um, this is not one I see on shelves very often. Yeah, Don't know. we can... Uh, we can we can we can go through the the annals and we can uh, we can pull out some other stuff and do more episodes. Um, there we go. Okay, there we go. I can save this. It's pretty ramp looking. Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy. Good thing you got that golden dongo. That's very true. Um, but yeah, no, it, it was NES and hooked ever since. So absolutely, very much same here. Lots of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle video games. I was looking through there. I got. I have the Top Gun NES game. That's not a very good video game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I can't remember anything about it. I remember losing in it a lot at other like friends' houses who had it. I'm I'm more surprised that you have played it. <laughs> it doesn't seem like the kind of thing that you would you would expect to be played. Yeah, no. I, I think I just had a friend who had it, and I played it over there. And I just, I think I was young enough to where I assumed, like, I must be bad at this. Yeah. It was before I, like, had any... On the NES, it was it could be pretty hard to distinguish the, like, the truly great games from <laughs> the games you were just terrible at. Yep. Well, it's it's also when you're young, it's like, oh, I guess this is how hard video games are. Yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, I guess this is how I have to do it. How old... What, okay, so that's a good, another good follow-up question. What age were you and what game was it where you first started realizing, I think this might just be a bad, like... A bad game. <laughs> I remember getting frustrated at using the wind-up camera. Ah, good to know. Um, I remember getting frustrated at Mega Man. Mega Man is very frustrating, and there is... I don't know if I would describe Mega Man as a super well-designed game in a lot of respects. Yeah. Even though I do love me some Mega Man. Hello. Hello. Um. Ooh. Oh, okay. Whoa. Cool. Rad. Darmanio, the surrender robot. I <laughs> I would ask about it, but I feel like it's really important. I love the design of the legs, the little springy yeah. legs. Uh, ah, yes. The heart within. Where do, where do you think we should hit him? Well, if I can reach it. Oh, boy. Get bopped in the heart. That's that's the name of my hot new single. <laughs> Maybe I should do this with a ranged weapon. Yeah. Ow. Ow. Punk. 
this is not the best execution of use the weapon from the level on the boss that I've ever seen. It's not the best, no. Oh, okay, I don't. I yeah, was worried I needed to keep changing back to keep revealing it, and I appreciate that I don't. Don't got the health for that. Yeah, we, we, we're running low. Come on. I don't know, yeah, I think... I mean, there's also, like, the sunk cost fallacy of video games when you're young. Yeah, just like whatever, especially when you're too young to buy your own, it's like yeah. whatever games are given to you, you spend many, many hours playing. Yeah. I think it must have been a video game that I rented. Oh, no, you know what it is? I do, I do actually know what it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's not even that I thought the game was bad. Uh, it was some X-Men game for the... I want to say NES, but it could have been SNES mm. uh, because in the first level you play you play as Wolverine and it's like a little platforming challenge and I fell in the water and I couldn't figure out how to get out so I drowned and it scared me so bad I made my dad take it back. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think Sonic kind of ruined drowning for me in games. Yeah. It, it was very not fun. Really leaves an impression. Yep. So like that 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 will give you some long-term trauma. That's uh, true. Sonic made drowning in other games not just in its own game scary, also all the rest of them. Yep. And I guess it's a good lesson. Drowning is scary and bad. Don't do that. Yeah. Thanks, Sonic. Here's this thing. Gimme. Miracle, Miracle flower. flower. In, in the, the shape, shape of, of a flower. flower. Oh hi. Hello. Whoop. Boo. -hoo. Oh, you're Colin. Yeah. Different. Different. Guy, same model. Gotcha. He beat me up. It happened, it's true. I was only giving the kids a lesson in peach mountain dancing. Oh, that's right, we were rescuing children. Right. Oh, hello. Duh. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, he's doing that just fine. I yeah, don't need to. Yeah. Colin, your plan did not work, did it? Did it? Who are you? Aha. I'm the leader of the Peach Mountain Shoguns. In the fresh spring breeze, sha la la, I come alive, la la. These beautiful visions appear before my eyes, la la. Yes. I would, I would like to eat my sandwich, sir. Please. I am, you know I am, the one they call Spring Breeze Dancing. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I'm sorry I interrupted you earlier. What an intro. It's pretty good. No. Yeah. Hey, you, what's your face? Dancing something or whatever. What do you have up your sleeves? Up my sleeves? You mean, like, my armpits? <laughs> Laugh track. Thanks. Easy to please crowd. We're not talking. Thank you. I'm here all night. Hot crowd spring, tonight. Spring freeze dancing. <laughs> uh, we're not talking about that kind of sleeve. Pretty sharp, Antonio. You caught on to my joke. Antonio? Who's Antonio? Sir Danson will choose a name for you himself if he feels it suits the person. <laughs> Fair enough. Man. All right. You, you, you can't just... Colin. That's probably how this... Yeah, that's how, <laughs> that is how he got his name. Absolutely. We're done with this place. We've got to prepare for our next plan... Just to seeing this... This is dancing. Yeah. <laughs> dancing. Dancing. we got to prepare for our next plan. Return at once. Yes, sir. Bye for now, Fernandez. We shall meet again. Wait a minute, who's Fernandez? He was looking at you when he said it. Remember, I will not let you get in the way of our great stage plan. That's great stage plan, <laughs> all capital letters. G-R-E. <laughs> yeah, G-R-E. What's a gorilla steak plan? That's not what I said. It's the great stage plan. The crowd didn't care for that one. G-R-E-A-T-S-T-A. -E <laughs> okay, you know what? Just don't come to the Chugoku region, no matter what. Got it. Bye. Hey, you, stop right there. You're always getting away by spinning yourself. Go, on. Let's forget about Colin for the moment. <laughs> I know he's a weird guy, but come on. We must first focus on getting to the Jugoku region. That's a good point. Yeah. Priorities. Priorities. Okay. I guess. 
I like how it says press A when you are ready. When you're prepared. Yeah. <laughs> Center yourself. Good job, us. And hey, look, we have a little tired animation. Oh, yeah. We're, we're looking all worn out because we're, you know, near dying. Dead. Yeah. That's okay. what I... Bye. I'm fine. Oh, it's here. Yeah. Oh. I remember this place. <laughs> <sighs> I would look as good or worse if dying. Yeah. So. What a champ. They all have their own, huh? Yep. He needs to balance himself. <laughs> and you? Oh, so cool. Still, yep. Yeah, still ninja cool. It's still pretty cool. Yeah. That's Just, really cool. Give me a minute, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good video game. This is a good video Thank game. Thank you very much for bringing this over. I've had a very good time. I've had a lot of fun playing it with you. Ah, Please do not die in a fire. I'm trying. Still small, though. Okay, small. I'm fine and alive. Both things. Let's get out somewhere. I guess we did just save, but even so. Yeah. Someone dropped Dongo. For heck's sake. Oh, here. Here's a trick. Yeah. I learned this one from Marshmallow. Get in there. Oh, no. There's not enough healing waters in the hot springs. What oh, do you no. do? How could you coat <sighs> your whole body? Oh. That's not what I was going to say, but... It seems like this would work, too, you'd think. But yeah, you'd think so. But no. No. But what if instead we shimmy? Yes. I think you actually have to wait a period of time. There That's you go. great. Yay, oh, we did. One more wonderful little surprise at the end. That's a, that's a fine note to exit on. Yes. So all y'all go to your nearest store and pick up Mystical Ninja Go I'm on. Really give it a shot. Yeah, this is a sponsored video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who made this? What, what company like published this, I, do you know? I... Well, Konami published it. Oh, okay. Um, the team I did not write, it was like Odo Japan. It was something like... Gotcha. N no way they're still around, kind of. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Well, y'all reach out to Konami, let them know you're ready for that Mystical Ninja sequel. Yeah, bring that to the list. Please. But yeah, thank you for joining me, Dan. Absolutely, my pleasure. <laughs> I'm excited to, for future weird game adventures with you. Yeah. Or, or just a good normal game also. Yeah, we could play any type of video game. <laughs> There's no rules. No, no rules, just right. Thank you for watching, everyone. Bye. Bye.